Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jerry Gong with the um, continuing series on how to use Smart PLS for your data analysis on structure regression modeling. In this video, I'm going to introduce you how to do and analyze multi-group analysis. Now, there is a big difference between multi-group analysis and moderation. Moderation only takes one variable and moderates one relationship. Yeah, if you remember there was one video I did on moderation, please watch that video so that you get any uh, understanding of what moderation is. Whereas multi-group analysis takes the entire group, uh, the model, and does the differences to see if there is a difference between the uh, two groups on the entire model. So that's a multi-group analysis. Now, just a word of warning when you do multi-group analysis, make sure that uh, you have enough processing power, you don't have too many groups, and you don't have too many uh, sample sizes when you do your bootstrapping, because if you do that, um, you might get stuck uh, in a very bad situation where your PC might hang because it's running too many uh, uh, analysis all at once, okay? Uh, because I tried this on a very complex model and it kind of like just hanged my PC. But anyway, that's besides the point. So I'm just going to be using back this particular um, uh, variable, uh, or rather this, this, this whole uh, uh, model, uh, which we use in the categorical mod uh, moderator, but we are going to look at now the entire uh, model to see if there's any uh, uh, group, multi-group analysis, okay? Now, first thing we need to do is to create the uh, groups. So, first thing, go to the um, green color data set for your model, double click, I'm going to create the uh, data set for, or rather the groups for uh, my agenda. So when I do that, I am going to add data group uh, because I want to see if there's a multi group between male and female. So male will be first group. Make sure you put the gender in correctly is equals to one. And then I'm going to do that for automatically calculates for the male, and I'm going to do that for the female as well. And here we go for the female. Okay, make sure you are correct in terms of the equal sign and the nominal. Press OK. So now I've got equal number of male and female. Now, uh, two questions. Can these two be unequal? Yes, they can because multi-group analysis assumes unequal variances. And can they be more than two groups? Yes, it can. But as I mentioned, just be careful not to have too many groups because then you'll be running a lot of analysis. And also make sure that you have enough sample sizes on each group so that you have a much more um, balanced analysis between the groups. All right. So now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the uh, bootstrap so that we can see uh, the two differences uh, or rather the differences of the uh, model between the groups and compare it with the complete one. So bootstrapping. So the bootstrapping, everything remains the same as before. The only thing different now is you need to go to data groups and select all because you want to see both male and female. If you want to skip the overall data set, you can, but that doesn't matter because we want to see everything. So start calculation. As you can see, the calculation does take a little bit of time. So uh, as I mentioned, please make sure that you have enough uh, processing power. Okay, perfect. So if you look at the um, groups here, what you need to do firstly is to look at this one. Of course, we all like anything that is, um, uh, what do you call this, uh, the, the, the visual, okay? Now, if you look at something here, this is your complete. You can actually change this to become your female, which is a positive, and your male, which you see is also quite significant. 
Okay, of course the male is more significant than the females. But when you put them in complete, it becomes uh, very not significant. So I suspect there is a difference here, um, as we found. But if you look at the rest, not much of a difference in terms of their significance, but you can actually show the differences uh, when you compare the three uh, visuals. Now, let's go back to the bootstrapping. What you need to report will be your original sample. Uh, this is, of course, uh, for the full, uh, full, okay? But of course, what it doesn't do here, ladies and gentlemen, you can, you can change this into female, yeah? Or you can change this to male. So you can put these three uh, groups side by side if you want to. And this is one of the best things about uh, um, uh, multiple analysis. So if we look for the complete, they are significant for the last two for complete. Um, significant for female for all if you're putting it 0 0.05 if you look at the t and also for male it is significant for all interesting that when you put them together they are not significant hmm. so it could be a different uh managerial implications between male and female so now what we want to see if there is a an actual pls mga difference between male and female when it comes to attitude towards co-workers. Now, I can already see that these two, there will not be so much of a significant difference. Now, we are talking about difference here. They can both be significant, but they can both be uh, significantly not different from each other. Okay, the one way that you can look at this is to look at the PLS MGA. So, I'm going to show you how to calculate the PLS MGA now. So, the first thing is, remember to do the bootstrapping. Uh, copy and paste uh, the entire uh, visual, show uh, individually as we did with the uh, direct effects, uh, and also add, remember to add on your uh, confidence intervals with it. Um, I can show you how to do it actually right now. Uh, but uh, please watch my other videos so you can get uh, uh, more things, okay? So you can copy this. Uh, show the individual uh, results for complete, show the individual results for female, and show the individual results for male, all right? If you remember how to do that. Now, to do the... PLS MGA, we do multi group analysis. Make sure we choose female for group A and male for group B and start the calculation. And now we want to see if there is a difference. All calculations done. The two things we need to look at now here is the bootstrapping results. If you notice that the first one is original male, ah, so this will account for the difference in the non-significance if you put them together because one, you notice that for the females, it's a negative, uh, which shows that attitude towards co-workers to job satisfaction uh, becomes negative and for the males, it's actually positive. So that explains why there is an insignificant results between the two. Uh, now, uh, if you look at the um, uh, T values, the T values are pretty a bit far off, and you also notice that they are significant. But what would really give us an answer to whether there is a difference between uh, male and female for these three is the parametric test. And the parametric test tells us the difference between female minus male in terms of the path coefficients and it says that there is a significant difference uh, between male and female when it comes to 
this particular relationship and it is confirmed by the Welch uh, satellite test also it is significant as you can see so what do you need to report report the parametric tests let me just show you uh, where is that yes so here you go so report the parametric test because the parametric test is a significant test for differences of group specific PLS STM results that assumes equal variances across the groups and the Welsh static weight which is assumed non-equal so you can actually show both but since both are confirming that they are not equal so therefore you need to show these two all right for more information about how to report these results, please watch my video on uh, the uh, copy and pasting um, or the direct effects. It will give you a re uh, an answer on how to report these two results. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and uh, have a pleasant day.